Fast speeds, lethal hunting confidence, and a territorial nature that scares off even polar bears. Traveling in a pack of six or so, they can make any animal sick with fear at first sight. Crossing their path is a pure nightmare, since it has no natural predators and knows no fear of humans, making it a painfully lethal creature. Meet the Arctic Wolf, death dressed in white. Weighing in between 70 and 125 pounds, they pounce on their prey and tear its flesh with their razor-sharp teeth. Arctic wolves, also known as the polar wolf or white wolf, won't hesitate to kill at first sight if an animal threatens their territory. Considered to be the deadliest animal that doesn't even need to be provoked to go after prey, a small pack can also defeat a polar bear in a face-off. As beautiful as it looks with white its fur, underestimating the animal's deadly nature can be a huge mistake that cost you your life in a matter of seconds. Known to live up to 7 to 10 years in the wild and 14 to 20 years in captivity, the arctic wolf doesn't have subspecies, but it is a close relative of the gray wolf. Unlike other animals, they spend their entire life in the northern tree line in the arctic tundra, making them highly territorial. There is no recorded age for the oldest arctic wolf. The oldest known wolf in the world is a Canadian wolf named Maddie. She is 19 years old and she grew up in a wolf sanctuary. As far as their history and evolution are considered, the vicious animal was discovered by British zoologist Reginald Pacock in 1935 and is also known as Canis lupus arctos scientifically. It belongs to the Canidae family and its class is Mammalia. Just like most wolves, they're grey or white in colour and they hunt with exceptional speeds, agility, and a larger body. Moreover, they snap their victims' necks with their long claws and teeth. They're so bloodthirsty that they attack their favorite prey like muskox with a speed of 46 miles per hour. White-colored arctic wolves have a thick double coat that prevents freezing by insulating them in extremely cold environments. They are the only wolf species in the world with such snow-white coloring, unique to their environment. Along with their insulated fur coats, arctic wolves have paws with thick pads, allowing them to walk on the frozen ground. Plus, these pads give them traction on the slippery surfaces they walk and run on. Their inner part of their fur is also waterproof, giving them an advantage over other beasts. However, they cannot swim, and rivers often limit their range. They might appear smaller in size than a grey wolf, and often animals mistake them as harmless, but that's where they get caught. Arctic wolves have speeds and stances like cheetahs and tigers, and like them, have an equal interest of the scent of blood. They have keen vision, and their ability to see in the dark is superior to almost any animal on Earth, only bested by a few. Wolves have developed this incredible ability to see in the dark because of their nocturnal behavior. It's estimated that wolves can see several times better than humans at night. A mature arctic wolf can weigh anything from 70 to 125 pounds. The 70-pound wolf is the same as four mature Dachshunds. They are two to three feet tall and up to five feet long when their tails extended. Only the alpha male of an arctic wolf pack will mate with the beta female. Arctic wolves are known to be monogamous. This helps to keep the number of wolf pups, also known as whelps, under control so that there's enough food for them. The mother gives birth to two to three wolf pups after a 63-day gestation period. Puppies are born with dark fur and blue irises that turn yellow as they age. They weigh roughly three to four pounds when they're born, but very quickly they gain weight. Arctic wolves give birth later in May and sometimes in early June. They're born with their eyes and their ears closed, but they can see and hear after 12 to 14 days. When the pups need to suckle from their mother, they can crawl around a little. The puppies begin to munch on small amounts of chewed food offered to them by their mother after a few weeks. When arctic wolves hunt as a pack, one adult member always stays behind to care for the puppies. While arctic wolves are bulkier than grey wolves, they have small ears, which maintains their body heat. It's an interesting thing about these wolves that, after the other wolves have stopped growing, the only one that keeps growing is the alpha male, making it the largest of all. These enormous, foul-tempered predators thrive in the most deathly sub-zero temperatures. They are the top predators in the place name. 
It loves preying on large mammals like musk oxen and caribou when available. They have an amazing sense of smell, and the pack uses urine scents to mark its territories. Arctic wolves can be found in northern Canada, Greenland, Alaska, and Iceland. They spend their entire lives in these Arctic locations. Furthermore, these areas experience dark periods that span approximately five months. As a result, Arctic wolves have adapted to living in both the dark and the cold. Arctic wolves live in caverns or seek cover in rock outcroppings rather than in ground dens. The ground in these Arctic locales is permanently frozen, making typical den digging impractical. In 1977, six wolves approached a couple of scientists on Ellesmere Island, with one of the animals leaping at one of the scientists and grazing a cheek. A series of hostile wolf attacks have happened in Alert, Nunavut, where the wolves have lived in close proximity to the local weather station for decades and have become custom to humans. One of these wolves attacked three people before being shot and tested for rabies. These beautiful beasts hunt in packs and go after caribou, as well as musk oxen, arctic hares, seals, lemmings, ptarmigans, and other small animals, such as nesting birds. Moose are also common prey. Their long legs may render them slow at times, stuck in the thick snow, leaving them vulnerable to attacks by wolf packs. As grazing plants are scarce, these terrifying animals roam large areas to find prey up to and beyond a thousand square miles, and they'll follow migrating caribou during the winter. They communicate with the growling and the position of their tails. Their paws have a similar heat exchange mechanism to ducks and penguins. Polar bears are the arctic wolves only predators. A bear or another wolf may kill a young wolf cub who escapes from the cave. Humans represent a hazard to arctic wolves when they intrude into their territory. An arctic wolf can go for four to five months without eating. It might live off the fat stored in its body. However, in order to thrive in this severe climate, it must eventually be fed. If a wolf becomes weak from hunger, it may be attacked by other wolves. They have a stronger and more lethal bite due to their strong jaws filled with 42 sharp teeth designed to tear flesh and crush bones. They consume more than 20 pounds of meat daily and live in isolation guarding their pack. They are rarely on their own. Dangerous jaws with sharp teeth, arctic wolves are not threatened by hunting or persecution, but industrial development threatens the arctic wolf as an increasing number of mines, roads, and pipelines encroach on its territory and interrupt its food supply. Yeah, that makes them even more aggressive. The arctic wolf population is estimated to be at 200,000 individuals. They're not a threatened species and are classified as least concern on the IUCN red list. The main reason arctic wolves are not endangered is that they live on the freezing tundra, where few humans walk, and few other creatures can survive. Northern Alaska is home to one of the greatest population of these wolves. Arctic wolves are carnivorous hunters. By nature, they help to control the populations of other animals in the region like the muskox, caribou, deer, and arctic hares. Extreme weather variations in recent years have made it more difficult for populations of musk ox and arctic hares to find food, which has caused a significant decline in their numbers. As a result, this has reduced the traditional food supply of the arctic wolf. The WWF works with governments, businesses, and communities across the arctic to combat the threats in the region and to preserve its rich biodiversity, including the presence of the arctic wolf. The White Wolf Sanctuary is a refuge for arctic wolves located in Tidewater, Oregon. The average population of wolves in the sanctuary is 8 to 10 over 40 acres, of which some are rescued wolves who are injured, unwanted, or abandoned. The presence of wolves is continually debated. Some argue that they shouldn't be allowed to make a return because of the dangers that they pose to humans. However, the arctic wolves are changing. Over the years, the size of the arctic wolves' head has shrunken. This is supposed to be due to interbreeding with dogs and is likely to produce a smaller animal. Perhaps some of this breeding with dogs partially explains why these arctic wolves are often not afraid of people. Tell us what you think of this ghost-looking, fast, dangerous, overprotective, adaptive, social, smart, agile, hunter, killer beast in the comment section below. And also don't forget to leave a like on the video, smash that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for more amazing beasts. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.